107 News. In this country, the fracking operation that will kill people, it's killing people everywhere that they're attempting it. Everywhere that the operation gets a foothold, it poisons water, it contaminates land, contaminates the air, causes earthquakes, uh, and, and Barclays are backing, backing that contamination and damage to, to the environment. And it will be our children who do the damage, and there is no way to clean up a, a water aquifer once it's poisoned. Once radioactive material is leaching into that water aquifer, there's no way to fix it. So we need to stop the damage before it occurs, and we need to stop corrupt organisations like Barclays Bank from financing and are owning 97% of Third Energy who have now got the OK for fracking in this country for the first time in five years since it caused an earthquake. So get out and do your, do, well, do your research, don't take anybody's word for it, because the fracking companies will say, well, it's perfectly safe. Well, they haven't carried out a safe operation anywhere in the, in the world. Anywhere where fracking's occurred, it's killing people. It's caused vast contamination. Poison water supplies, poison farm animals. Is. Right. In Salford, the Barton Moss campaign was the, um, the most densely populated area that fracking has ever been attempted right, anywhere in the world. Right. We live on a tiny island. And fr fracking carried out on a small island right, is going to cause more damage here than it could ever possibly do. Uh, in, pl in places like Australia in America where they, they've got vast areas of unpopulated land that you know, we don't. We're a, dense, a densely populated island. Uh, the, the death toll from fracking will be a lot more on this island. Uh, so the trick is to not let it get a foothold. Look into fracking, look into the, uh, the, the voices from the, the, the gas fields on YouTube. Gasland 1 and 2. All testimony, people that have come forward and, and, and described what it's like to live near these fracking wells. And once a fracking operation starts to get a foothold, that's where they put the fracking wells every, every few miles. They will pepper the landscape because that's the only way you can get a significant amounts of gas out of a shale layer. You need to drill the holes every few miles. So we're going to have a landscape peppered with drilling rigs and pipelines. Uh, to get all this gas that we just don't need. Right, we've got we've got solar energy, we've got wind wind energy, we've got geothermal energy, we've got tidal energy. There's, there's 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 no reason now why we should be drilling into the ground for fossil fuels. We can ad adopt a clean energy policy. Something that Barclays seems to just totally ignore. Well, Co-op Bank for one. Of course, that they will not invest in any more fossil fuel. Uh, it is the 21st century. They'll invest in renewable energies. This bank is investing uh, in uh, a process that is killing people everywhere that has been carried out. They're invest investing in genocide. So, so have a, have a look at your, your your bank account and switch switch from this one to a different one because. They are investing in killing you. Barclays is investing in genocide. As it has it invested in Israel, the genocide out in Palestine, Barclays is investing in genocide in this country. Oh, right. So whether they need to take their full allocated time. Actually, they're all stood there. Why are they stood there like that? I intend to be very strict. They're all just stood there. Three minutes. Can you move? Keep moving, please. Oh, three minutes. Now call Barnes Mackintosh. They're back. just standing there like an audience. Up to six yeah. minutes. Can you wind up now, please? Oh. Three minutes. Thank you. Please think about the residents and the children. Thank you. Thank you. It's actually the entrance of the conference, like I said. It's that there is loads of people just stood there, but it can't all be because of this, surely. So again, walk down the streets because why, why, why aren't people doing that? There's bloody loads of people for some reason. The company that has just been licensed to give Yorkshire and a, a Yorkshire aside. It, it's the first license to fully frack the UK ever. It's a full frack. And this bank is behind it. They own 97% of the shares. They are literally fracking in somebody else's name. 
and then they get you guys to come here and give them their, your money, your money that you've worked for. They, they, they get you to come here and they, you give it to them. And then they invest it in poisoning your land and your water. Yorkshire is about to be fracked, a full frack. And this has not happened yet in the UK. They did, they did exploratory drilling in Blackpool and they caused earthquakes that were directly responsible to the frack. That caused a monitorium on fracking. Of course, why would you allow something so dangerous that it causes earthquakes? So they banned it, it was outlawed. And this corrupt Tory government have just have changed the definition of fracking to bend it in certain ways they want. So they can carry on doing whatever they want. And, and Barclays are behind it, and 97% behind the third energy that are, are given the first license to frack the UK. Now, if you do have an account with Barclays, you can go and change your account. Change it somewhere else. Put it, put it somewhere more ethical. These guys, they're, they're funding weapons to kill Palestinian children. They're absolute animals. And, 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 and look, we've been here for a few hours now and we failed to mention LIBOR. What they call the LIBOR scandal is known in modern history as the biggest fraud in modern history. This bank cheated the value of international money to the tune of billions and billions and billions that went into their pockets and they got a slap on the wrist for it and now they want to frack the country they're, they're, they're literally behind Third Energy 97% of shares are owned directly by Barclays and new people are walking in giving them their money evil. it's evil lad yes it's wrong it's wrong and this is what we're here to tell you we, you, you might make judgments on us, whatever, but, but we're here to tell you that fracking is not safe. And that these, these high street banks that you, you know and trust are actually behind it. They're funding it. And, and, and what in, in, in 20 years' time when that's done, you, you, you can't fix the radioactive mess that they've just put into the ground that have then seeped up through the natural water aquifers into your drinking water. That is irreparable. You cannot fix the mess that they're about to make. House prices. And, 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 and okay, all right, you, you might not want to change, change, change uh, the, the bank that you've been banking with for 20, 30 years. You may have a mortgage room. That mortgage. 107 News.